Too many geology, way too many geology. Hello, young people. The Palouse River Canyon, just south of Washtuckna, Washington. Welcome to Palouse Falls State Park. The crown jewel, the Palouse Falls itself. A 180-foot cliff with the Palouse River cascading over basalt bedrock. It's a beautiful place, especially in spring. But even in winter, during a cold snap, you get much of this water locked in ice. Equally impressive. But we're here for more than the waterfall. We're here to talk about the River Canyon itself. The most interesting canyons you'll find anywhere. The upper stretch of the canyon above the falls is perfectly straight, arrow straight, four mile stretch. Here by the falls, the canyon zigzags back and forth. And in the lower stretch, there's a more classic look to a coulee system with majestic buttes popping up from the canyon floor. And caves have been found with evidence of human history going back 10,000 years. People have been enjoying this place for a long, long time. Geologically, this canyon is not much older than 10,000 years. During the Ice Age, this canyon was not here. The waterfall was not here. The river wasn't even here. To tell the story of how this canyon formed, let's go upstream. The peaceful Palouse River, a few miles north of Palouse Falls. That's the road to Pullman in the distance there. Before the Ice Age floods, the Palouse River used to flow parallel to the Snake River and a divide, a ridge, separated the two V-shaped river valleys. The ridge was composed of fractured basalt bedrock mantled with wind-blown silt known as Luss. Cue the Ice Age floods coming from Montana, cruising through northern Idaho and barreling down into this tranquil scene. Way too much water for this valley to handle, and the Ice Age floods easily overtopped the ridge and dumped directly into the Snake River. The erosive power of that flood water did serious damage to the ridge in multiple places. What's now known as Palouse River Canyon, the H.U. Ranch Coulee, and Devil's Canyon. They're parallel cuts deeply into the basalt bedrock. It wasn't just the loose taken away, it was all the bedrock taken away as well. Deep fractures that are parallel to each other controlled where the floods did the most damage, like taking a fire hose to the ridge and etching out those deep fractures. The fractures formed originally 50 million years ago in response to crustal compression from the south and a lateral torquing as well. The Palouse River took advantage of this. In the old days, the Palouse River continued down its river north of the ridge. That's now known as Washtuckna Coulee, and that coulee's dry, no river at it anymore. Instead, the Palouse River took advantage of the deepest cut, took a left turn, a south turn into the ridge, and now forms the Palouse River Canyon. So we've got our answer, right? The Ice Age floods cut this canyon, not the Palouse River. When the floods got the floor of this canyon lower than Washtuckna Coulee, the Palouse River permanently came in here and left its old valley high and dry. The Snake River effectively captured the Palouse River, something we call stream capture. Today, Palouse Falls is impressive. A drop of 180 feet, in fact, there was a world record for a kayak drop recently. But back during Ice Age floods time, fill the entire canyon with water. Brown, raging, dirty water coming through, thundering through this canyon with the original position of the Ice Age waterfall down at the Snake River and through flooding had the lip of that waterfall migrate back five miles to its present position. The power of the Ice Age floods in the Palouse River Canyon, south of Washtuckna, Washington. It's all out here to see. Coolies, rocks, and canyons is scenery. If 
right here for you and me. Two-minute geology. 